I want to know how you answer the hand situation. You're constantly voguing on stage, and I'm shocked <laughs> that you learned to vogue at such a young age. In, in rehearsal, I tried using them less, and then I felt really self-conscious, and I like started just like moving my body while I was like reading the copy. The hand issue is no issue. I just wonder for me. You use your hands a lot too. You're, but you're smoother. I do. I'm very animated, and I do use my hands a lot. However, if I started to realize that I'm using them too much, I will fold my arms and continue to talk and just use one hand. It's just comfortable. It's just comfortable. Hey guys, it's Hasan Minhaj. Today marks the one year anniversary of Patriot Act. So I want to call someone who has been instrumental to the success of the show, Tan France. Hasan, how are you? Hey, what's going on, man? I'm on vacation. I would love to be in the US with you, but I'm not willing to give up a vacation for anyone. I hate you so much that you're on vacation. You know we don't take vacation here in the States. I needed it. Oh my God, look how gray I went. I used to have black hair and now uh, it's like this. So remember how sometimes I'll, I'll text you and I'll message you and I'll be like, let's hang out. And you're like, look, I'm filming this thing. Uh, I can't do this. I'm like juggling three shows right now. But if you and your wife want to come to Utah and hang with me and my husband, we can totally do that. Is that offer still on the table? It has always been on the table. Whenever I say to somebody, you are welcome, I don't say it unless I actually 100% mean it. If you came to Utah, I'd be very, very happy. And I'm sure your wife would love it. Okay, so Tan, it has been a year officially since Patriot Act launched. You've, you've done how many seasons of Queer Eye between last October and this October? You guys have knocked out another two. We knocked out another two and an international miniseries. This is the Japan. Junbi wa do! It sure is, and it comes out very soon. There's been so many amazing things that have happened this year. I haven't had time to take stock. However, I wouldn't take back any of the busyness because um, I've had the year of my life. Like I've had such an incredible, incredible year. I went to Japan, which was uh, on my bucket list. It was the top of my bucket list. We won Emmys again, which blew my mind. That we won so more cool. this year than we did last year. Your team won something? Yeah, we won an Emmy for motion design and graphics, yeah. And very well deserved, very, very much deserved. They're, They're incredible, yeah. They really are, they really are. Um, so yeah, the Emmys blew my mind. I left early. They're really, really long. I have a show called, it's a web series called Dressing Funny. Um, yeah, how am I not an EP on the show? <laughs> what? How am I not getting any credit for this, Tan? You know, I don't know. <laughs> the series made me really jealous because I think you're closer to Pete Davidson than you are to me. <laughs> I am, I've known Pete longer. And I no! Think... No, that's a diplomatic way of saying yes, it's true. All right, wait, I've got questions for you. It has been a year. A lot of stuff went down. Yeah, that I expected, that I didn't expect. Can you give us an idea of what's coming? Oh no. Can I? Wait, by the time this comes out, will episodes will have aired or no? He can tease it for goodness sake. Can I tease it? Okay, I'm gonna tease it. Go. And then we're gonna decide and edit if we're gonna bleep it. But what do you no, think of this you idea? You tease it and then I'll tell you what I know about it. Go. Okay. All right. Uh... Oh, fuck. I, oh, so, oh, sorry. <laughs> tell me again. Sorry. Do you like it? Do you like that? It's a wonderful one. I know nothing about how to help people with uh, any kind of but yes, I think it's a great one. Okay, so you obviously have had a huge impact on my life. Yeah. And the fashion choices that I've made. I want you, this is a big moment. We're one year, this is our one year anniversary of Patriot Act. I want you, Tan France, to judge the outfits I wore on Patriot Act this year. I already know what my favorite one is. I have an idea, I have a guess. Do you want to start with your favorite or do you want to build to your favorite? No, I want to start with it because uh, I, I think okay. it's really funny to talk about how, how the rest of it went. Right, <laughs> go. <laughs> I believe, I believe your favorite was the episode I wore for cruise ships. You have the captain's outfit and uh, you're regular. You're talking about yes. regular, right? So a cruise was my second favorite. My favorite is the drug episode, dr drug pricing. Okay, what'd you like about it? I like that it was layered. So it was more interesting than just a top. And I like the colors. I thought it looked really slick and I thought it looked really expensive, which I always appreciate. Why does it have to look expensive? It just has to look like luxury? No, I don't think it has to look luxurious. I just think if, <laughs> I'm about to pick myself up royally, but I can wear a t-shirt from Walmart and a jacket from somewhere inexpensive and a pair of pants from The Gap 
And as long as it's it's fitting the right way and the fabrics look a certain way, it can look like something that costs ten thousand um, dollars. And that's what this looks like. I have no idea where you got any of these pieces from, but it looks expensive, which I I think looks very nice for TV. Do, should we just go through each in, in order? Oh wait, can I give my gen? I'm gonna know. Uh, can I can I please leave this lesson? I've got my general feedback. Take me to the promised land. Okay. Are we being honest? Yes. Okay, great. Well, then we will be honest. <laughs> Remember, I am family. Um, family can say whatever they want. Uh-huh. My God, you wear a lot of sweaters. And yeah. it looks like you've got one in every color. Yeah, I do. I, going forward, I would love to see like just something a little different than a sweater. But what do I wear besides a sweater or an Oxford? Oh my God, add that jacket. Like when you added that jacket on uh, drug pricing, I'm like, all he had to do was add a fucking jacket and it makes a difference. Like it looks different. And instead of wearing that sweater, I wish it was like, even just a plain t-shirt underneath, you switched it up. Like I would have really liked that. Okay. An added layer just makes it look like you put a look together as opposed to, I just put clothes on. I move a lot and I want it to feel like I'm comfortable moving. I want you to be somebody that looks in charge. Whoa. And so even if you're slightly uncomfortable, it may not look that way when I'm watching the show. I just think he put a look together like he's, that bitch is better than me. <laughs> so I'm going to listen to him. <laughs> what about the hoodies? I started doing hoodies. I, I have noticed, but wait, wait, wait. My favorite thing, I really want you to use the images that you've sent to me because yes. everyone, you're very handsy in the mall. <laughs> It's so good. I don't know if they planned it, but it brings me so much joy. So not only, it just looks it. like they photoshopped the color of your sweater because your actual physical pose is exactly the same in every picture. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm not, you're making me look like I'm like, yeah, I Let me just I give you, like I'm going to show you that I'm going to turn this up just All so right. you can see the visual because it really is funny. Sure. Do you see that? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's this. Yeah. It literally switched out. The color. I liked I liked the blue hoodie a lot. And you don't and you don't think that looks that's a little juvenile? It's a little casual. It's a little casual. Especially the green one. That was too young for for the seri for the severity of the show. I would take you more seriously if you were in a, another sweater. Really? See, I tried to mix it up. See, like this is what I'm. You, I can't get it right. The world doesn't only belong to either a sweater or uh, a sweatshirt. A hoodie. It's that or a suit. Then I'm gonna have to start wearing suits. No, you could wear that. Uh, you could wear that cruise shirt, which I liked very much in another color. I did also okay. like your Tom Brown moments a lot. How about Global NRA? People, people in the audience said you you forgot to download the rest of your sweater. <laughs> I really like the ombre. That that was the only time I was like, okay, it is actually changed up. He's got a different color going on. And I like that sometimes you're playing with your trousers instead of your top. So Sudan, did you see those trousers? Those are crazy. That's wild. It's like I'm a car salesman from the 1970s. They were my least favorite. That was my least favorite look of the season. I'm sorry. Why? I don't like a jazzy pan. But there's only two places you can jazz, the top or the bottom. I know. I just don't like a checkered pan without the suit jacket. Do you know that term you taught me it was a uh, fuckboy? Fuckboys don't wear checkered pants. Fuckboys wear lightning blue hoodies and Nikes. Isn't fuckboy showy? No. No, 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 no. Fuckboys are like Indian dudes that dress like Drake. How about episode 306, Why Your Internet Sucks? I completely changed it up. I did a Nehru shirt. I could have done without the sneakers. That's 50% of my personality, Tan. I, I love a sneaker always, but I wish you had done the sneaker you wore on 305 with them. Okay, finally. How do you feel about what I'm wearing right now? I love, I was honestly, when you started the call, I thought, I don't know why he doesn't wear this sweater on the show. I could make my peace with all the sweaters because they're very nice, simple sweaters. You pull them down a lot. Do you know this? Yes. You don't have a super long torso. And so you pulling down your shirt, your sweater makes then your torso look much longer and your legs look much shorter. I wish you would just let it be. Just show my tummy? No, 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 <laughs> no. You know how the, there's the band, the rib band of a sweater, and then yeah. if you pull it down, the, the sweater lays completely completely flat. Oh, let it let it poof a bit. Otherwise, your, your torso then looks super, super long and your legs look really small. 
Okay. The world has been asking about something very specific, and it's driving to me honor you. the main question I get. That annoying, that jacket. Did you lose it? How could I ever? So lose why the have you never you worn me? it? Because I was waiting for this moment. <laughs> it's a damn good jacket. It's a cool jacket, but it's got a tiger on the back. I love the tiger on the back. That's what makes it more interesting. Yeah. Oh, we can't keep it on because it, it jangles. It's, yeah, it's super jangly. So, so if you put it oh, on... this is why I can't wear it. Oh. You can hear like the, the, the jingling of the of the buttons. It was a rookie mistake. I did not realize it jingle jangled. We'll find a backup option for you. Okay, so I, we learned a lot today. Let's finalize with Tan's four tips going forward. Number one, reduce the number of sweaters we're wearing to maybe like a fifth of the season only instead of four fifths of the season. Okay, less sweaters. Yeah. Number two, let the sweaters poof, stop pulling them down. Okay. Three, uh, no more uh, checkered pants. No more jazzy pants? No more jazzy pants. You don't need the jazzy pants. You're jazzy enough as it is. And our fourth and final tip will be, you will restyle me again? Yes. So last time I was just fucking around, I would never put you in half of that stuff. This time, I'm, I'm, we're not playing. Like if we do it, I want to put you in things that I truly would put you in. I know you can look incredible. Isn't it so lovely, the response from the South Asian community after that video? It was incredible. It was one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. It was really amazing. Isn't it sad also to think that they were so deprived of South Asian interaction that this was yeah. such a highlight for them? Like it truly, it, yeah. it really is one of the most special things I ever did. Can you just do me a favor? Here's what we have to do. We have to find Zayn Malik and then the three of us have to hang out and the internet will literally shut down. <laughs> I could find him easily enough. It's from my neck of the woods. That'd be amazing. Let's do it. Zane, if you're watching this, let's all hang out. Yes, and he'll serenade us whilst we shop. Amazing. In Urdu, preferably. Yeah, that'd be dope. Yes, please. Last question. If you could host an episode of Patriot Act, now you know what the show is, what would you host an episode on? What topic? Uh, I know 100% what I would do. It's simple. I would uh, try and dissect why entertainment or show business or Hollywood in general refuses to cast South Asian people as the desirable lead. I want to talk about why white is seen as beautiful only or very pale versions of brown people. Um, and then I would want to take down... Dude, I'm serious. This is this is like an episode. We could do this. Tan, I'm gonna do this with you. All right, cool. Okay. Uh, I love you, man. I love you too. Really good to speak to you. Okay. Yeah. I'll speak to you soon, inshallah. All right. Okay. Inshallah. Bye. Take care. Tan, thank you so much for the advice. I promise you, I will try new things this season. I'll see you guys back November 10th with new episodes every Sunday on Netflix. And Tan, I will see you in Utah.